Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. And we're here to follow up on a light deprivation experiment that I did. And it involved this plant. This plant has been living inside a very dark closet inside my home for over two months now. And it's still alive, but it's dropped all of its leaves. All its leaves have gone brown and crumpled. And the only thing that's showing any life right now is its stem. And I want to show you the stem a little bit closer because the whole plant hasn't gone white. There's still a bit of green down on the base, but you can see that these stems are extensively white. So it appears to have lost the majority of its chlorophyll. And we've got this plant here as a contrast because this is somewhat what it looked like before the start of the experiment. And in particular, I wanted to show you the stems on this plant which are green. So they're not supposed to be white. So an interesting thing happened. I was in the shop and I noticed this plant and there were several of them and they were all the same. So this is a Dyphon back here also. And the interesting thing about this Dyphon back here is you lick and amongst it, it has white stems. So this plant has been light deprived, but not to the extent of the experiment plant. So you can see that the light deprivation in this plant and also the several other plants that were on the shelf, they retain the chlorophyll in the leaves and they have nice green leaves, but they lost it all in the stems. So based on what I'm seeing in this particular plant, the progression of light deprivation in the Dyphon Bacchia is for it to first lose the chlorophyll in its stems and to divert that to its leaves. And then it makes sense because what little light there was, it would have been trying to use its leaves to turn that into energy. And that is the most efficient place for the chlorophyll that it had to go to. So it appears to have extracted the chlorophyll out of the stems for use in the leaves. So it's a very interesting plant. And this one, I'm actually going to put back into the light because I actually want to see what actually happens and how long it takes to recover from this light deprivation stage that this particular plant is in. So this one's going to go and sit near a shady window. And this one is going back into the dark closet because I want to know if the plant will actually die or whether it will just stay in some kind of suspended animation until it does get some light. So I'm going to keep the experiment running for another month and when that month passes, I'll do another video and we can see how the experiment is going. Hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.